So I've made some small progress. I replaced all those resistors, these surface mount ones, there and there. So probably in hindsight, would have been better off putting them on the underside of the board because there are actually some traces that run there are some traces that run underneath in between like that one there that focuses so I have checked continuity and it all looks okay like that one there you can see it runs underneath so it all looks okay but in hindsight probably would have been better just doing them underneath there anyway so I've done that so one problem I had with this one is that um, I started on this ages ago, but I broke off the little tab there for the for the uh, for the center pin. So not sure what to do about that. So I've decided I'm going to try and put this one on. So stick it on there like that and really solder it down so the only problem is i've got to be careful it's obviously ground but on, the, on the under underside we've got ground here but then we've got the um the five volt rail here so i have to be very careful and obviously the other thing as well is that um that sticks out quite a way so um i'm gonna have mine recessed a bit in the case so really solder it, solder it really hard. So that's got a solid connection there. And then I'll um, add in the little transistor and resistors there and hook it up to that one, probably get some heat shrink. Now I have put, this is where the ROM will go, but the only problem is once you add on the converter it's way too high it's not going to fit in the case so I'm going to get rid of the socket and just solder it directly on I wanted to leave the socket on there because well what I probably I'll put the original ROM on first once I've made all these changes make sure it still works then I'll um, remove the socket solder the converter board straight in um, and hope <laughs> well I can always unsolder it again if it doesn't work but yeah, so a little bit of progress. So I'm going to try and get that finished off today. So here's the end result. Not as good as, as I was hoping to make it, but hopefully it should work. Um, as you can see, I've really tried to solder, solder it on to that ground plane there, which is quite handy, so... Um, hopefully that should give it enough mechanical strength. Um, yeah. So, seems to be okay. Do I have one handy? Cable handy? No, I don't have a long enough cable handy. So, yeah, that bit's done. So when I get my sockets, I'll put my sockets on, I'll put the ULA and Z80 on, and put the ROM, uh, the RAM in and, and the ROM, and see if it still works. And if it still works, then I'll take the socket out and, well, actually I'll test it. I'll test it with some new ROMs on this first, and if that works, then I'll take the socket out and just solder that directly in. So hopefully there's enough space in the case. I'm thinking about replacing these ones. I don't have any any handy. I might get some. So far, so good. Let's see how I go. So my 40 pin sockets finally arrived. I've put them on. I've put the original ULA Z80 in, original ROM, original 2K RAM. There's my uh, dodgy little composite video mod. So I'll get some Kapton tape or something there just to um, make sure I don't short that out. Um, but it's nice and solid. So I shouldn't have to worry about that breaking off. So I'll uh, apply power. 
Turn the screen on, turn the screen on, it is on. I can feel heat on the ULA. And, hey! Seems to be working. Now, I know apparently this ULA version doesn't have the back porch. So maybe that's what this flickering is. But it's booted. So the next thing is I've got um, these are my Z80s, my ULAs, this is my VL, uh, VLA 81 from New Zealand. ROMs, RAM. So I do have a replacement ROM I can stick in there to test. I'll try out the, the VLA81 and also try out the, the RAM packs as well. Make sure they work and then I can do the 16K upgrade. But it seems to work. So um, I'm also going to replace these other, there's a couple of other little ceramic capacitors here. I'm going to replace, I've pulled the ones out here, they're all, um, I'm not sure what they were, 10 nanofarad or something. Replace those ones as well, but I haven't, um, you can see there the, um, the resistors I've replaced. Obviously these ones are for the keyboard, so I haven't tested that yet, but so far, so far so good. Let's see. Okay, I've just tried it with the um, the VLA eighty one hundred, and look at that massive improvement in the video output. It's just perfect. So I'm not sure. I haven't made any uh, modifications to the dips to the dip switches. I've just replaced the um, the original one, which was getting very hot actually. Um, and that's made a huge improvement, massive improvement. That's incredible. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so I do have this, this your uh, no, that's uh, this your lay here. Apparently has the the back porch. So I'll try that one as well. But um, I'm really happy with that. So the next thing to do will be replacing the ROM, seeing how I go with that, and then also doing the um. The, the RAM upgrade. Wow, that's incredible. That is just a massive difference.